So Planet Earth 3, Episode 7 is out, and it is about the human world. Not just cities like Planet Earth 2, this encompasses everything from cities to villages to farms to anything relating to human activity. And this episode opens up in a village in Nepal where we see rhinos passing through the town, basically. It highlights how rhinos were there before and they're still there now, but they have to deal with human problems. It's a very good example of how wildlife is dealing with humanity's spread across the world. And I think it did a very good job of opening the episode and it set the tone for what I think is probably the best episode of the series thus far. And from there we move on to Bali, where we see long-tailed macaques. And this sequence was probably the funniest in the whole episode, I think. And we see the macaques, as we've seen many times before, you know, they pickpocket people, they steal people's things, but we see how that has evolved. They steal glasses, they steal phones and wallets, they've learned to do that, uh, and they barter them for food. And it's just funny watching them just haggle with the people. People are giving them bananas and they're like, nah, I don't fancy that. And then they give them like a bar of chocolate and they're like, now you're speaking my language. I also really like the music and this whole episode, to be honest, but this sequence in particular, the bit where it has the uh, large male that we see uh, and it plays like music very reminiscent of the Godfather theme. I thought that was hilarious. I thought it was really good. It was very funny. I'm going to make him another of kind of refuse. And from there, we get this very interesting sequence of showing you like planes flying and it's very like trippy way they do it like, especially this scene where they show you the cities it's in a big spiral it's really cool really inventive bit uh, part of the, the episode i think and then we move on to new york city where we see ants that are now a thousand times more abundant than the human population which is you know not a huge shock but we see that they eat fast food and it's pretty cool i like i like the you know ants are always interesting anyway so yeah seeing them in the city you know, how they, and how they only live in our pavements is pretty interesting. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Very good stuff. Then we see cobras in India. We basically see a cobra hunting a toad throughout this house and the sort of neighbouring buildings. And it's really cool. You, you don't see too many snake endurance hunts. I think the only one I can think of was in Planet Earth 2, the iconic one where the racer snakes hunt in the marine iguana hatchlings. It was a really good chase sequence. There was a lot of tension there. Very high octane stuff, even though it's just a toad that's getting hunted. It was pretty cool. I really liked it. And then it highlights how the cobras are revered by the local Hindu population. They see them as demigods and how they're actually moving slower to make themselves more, I guess, more uh, noticeable so people are less likely to, to disturb them. I thought it was really cool. Really interesting stuff, yeah. This episode had a lot of stuff showing you how animals have modified their behaviour to deal with humans in a, in a sort of positive way for everyone. I thought that was a really good part of this episode. Then we see frogmouths in Australia, and they're a species we don't see very often. To be honest, I think this might have been the weakest part of the episode. Not to say it was bad, uh, it's just that everything else in this episode was like really strong, so yeah, it was still good. I think it did highlight uh, quite well how cats are a negative influence for a wide variety of species, particularly birds. In Australia, cats have wiped out, you know, quite a few species and that's even more so in like New Zealand and stuff like that. But yeah, cats are a big problem around the world. I like how they tackled that. They didn't go into a huge amount of detail with it, but the fact that it was mentioned was, was pretty good, I thought. Then we see black bears in North America, and we just see them, you know, pilfering people's bins, basically getting rubbish. And we've seen bears do that before, and it's always quite entertaining, to be honest. The sequence when it's in the shop as well was hilarious, especially when the person walked in and then just went straight back out. Great stuff. Loved it. We also see uh, humpback whales in uh, British Columbia, off just off Vancouver Island, where we see how fish stocks have plummeted because of human activity. This is the part of the episode where we get into the negatives of human activity. But we see the humpback whales have actually managed to sort of bypass this. They'll like they'll change their feeding techniques. This one male's done this, where it'll have its mouth open for a large period of time to let the fish come in, thinking they're in a safe place, and then trapping them shut. Also, it talked about how whale uh, feces is like, has so much iron in it, it's really good for the phytoplankton, which in turn soaks up carbon, which helps with climate change. I think the role that whales play in carbon sequestration has been discussed before, and I think this episode did a really good job of, of highlighting that, and I think it was it was a great sequence. It was great seeing all the other predators muscle in as well. It was, all, it was all very good, really good stuff. Moving on from that, we move on to Kenya, where we see elephant and human wildlife conflict, which is a major issue in across Africa, to be honest. Uh, and this sequence was very good. It was very good highlighting the dangers to both sides, I think. Elephants and humans. You saw the guys risking their lives. The elephant's clearly not happy either. They'd get these rangers in to chase the, the elephant out and use, like, firecrackers to get them out. It was a very good sequence, very... Like, I think that the goal was to show you how the elephants were not doing too well, but I think that sequence worked equally well showing you how bad it was for the farmers. 
Yeah, I really liked that bit. I think elephants are featured quite a lot in the series, but every time they've been in it, it's been a great sequence. Then we see locusts in North Africa. Now, locusts like snow leopards have appeared in every Planet Earth series and it kind of feels obligatory. I'm not saying it's the best locust swarm I've ever seen, but it still continues to highlight how bad locust plagues are and how basically we create this, alt this great habitat for them. And of course they take advantage of it and their numbers explode and then it's bad for us, you know. So I think it does a good job of showing you how we have created our own worst enemy in a way. Agriculture gets a lot of discussion after that. We see how humans have allowed the same handful of species that we feed on, like cattle, chickens, to just prol proliferate. They take up most of the vertebrate life on land. And then we also see how the Amazon's getting destroyed. Pretty harrowing stuff. We see sloths. I mean, sloths are a good, cute animal that everyone likes, so it's good to show them and them getting rehomed when the Amazon's getting destroyed. I think they probably could have gone more into the destruction of the Amazon, but I think the episode was already pretty, pa pretty packed, so I didn't have a huge issue with that. And then it talked about various techniques in farming, how to improve things, how we should switch to a more plant-based lifestyle, which of course we all know. Yeah, we're not doing it, but it is kind of we know it's the best thing we could do and showing you uh, ground making techniques in farming, like indoor farming and warehouses. That was really interesting. So yeah, I really like that. And of course we get a, a scene of David Amber at the end, which is always good. It's probably the last one we're ever gonna get. If he's not in next week, which is gutting, but no, still really good stuff. The behind the scenes a uh, sequence featured them filming the burning of the Amazon. Uh, it was good. It was good showing them an actual danger because I'm obviously wildlife filmmaking is a dangerous occupation, and I think this is one of the few times I've really felt the danger, especially when the equipment's getting damaged and they're having to rush in to rescue it, and it's really taking a toll on them. I thought that was really good. Yeah, really good way to end the episode. Overall, this uh, episode is the best for me. I really liked it. I definitely prefer it to the cities episode in Planet Earth Two. I I don't think there was a weak bit. I mean, the frog myths, as I said, were was the, probably the weakest bit, but that was still good. I mean, the, the snakes, the rhinos, the bears, the monkeys, the elephants, the whales, the locusts at the end. I mean, everything was great, to be honest. I really, I didn't have any real issues from it. I, I was constantly interested. I also liked how it didn't just, it wasn't just doom and gloom. It was kind of showing you how animals have learned to adapt to us being there. And I think that, because I think that is, you know, it's still a, a series that's that's showing you animal behaviour rather than just having an environmental message. So I think that was also an important thing they did, whilst also talking about how, you know, we are causing problems for the natural world. I think it was a very good balance of that. Um, so yeah, I was very impressed with it, very happy with it. And yeah, really good stuff. Yep, so uh, next week is the Heroes episode, which looks like it's just going to talk about people that work at saving the environment. If you like this, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you think it was interesting? What was your favourite bit? Have you thought what's been your favourite episode so far? Next week's the last one, so whew, what am I going to do after that? So yeah, see you later and uh, goodbye.